Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 34 of the Wacky Random Challenge Season 2. My good friend Hamish Sopwith and I have just completed the most monumental commentary we have ever done on F1 2017. <sighs> the video will be up by the time this video goes live. The uh, commentary should be up on the channel. I would highly recommend you go check it out because it is without doubt the most intense uh, rating commentary I've ever done. So he's decided to call it a night and I'm doing some catch-up recording, uh, still doing catch-up recording. This is actually the last one uh, from the stream I did last week uh, where the sound didn't work. So I'm having to do that again and we move on to hell. The Lankabannon Rallycross. Now, what I've decided to do is stick to the Rallycross vehicles. And we are going to do all identical class, which is going to be the same car anyway. But what I'm going to roll is the weather. So, I haven't even got my randomizer open, how dare I? <clears throat> right, then what weather are we going to have? So for the first run it's going to be the Rallycross Light, and for the second run it's going to be one of the standard Rallycross cars. Which means this one will go fairly well, the other one will go disastrous. So the weather is going to be <laughs> heavy fog with rain at night twice. <laughs> oh good. Oh well. It is what it is. Group 6, GTO and GT3 is my opponents. That, the, the game probably wouldn't pick them, so there's no point. Or having the Ferrari S333. Look at that, two Ferraris in the pick. Enzo and a Rallycross circuit. No thank you. Yeah, I don't think that would... That would actually be impossible, I think. And this game throws up enough impossible combinations as it is. So, we are going to go with... Heavy fog with rain at night twice. Once with the medical light. And my dog is now barking because I think there's still fireworks going off. And him being a dog doesn't like them too much. And I'm sure if I, can, I always say that and I now listen to the recording and can never hear him. But uh, just in case he can be heard, I do mention that he's bulky. Right, let's see how we get on. When he did this first time around, it was with uh, was with Hamish, and he did not like this circuit at all. Let's see how we get on. Traffic control and ABS in a radical car. I also have no lights. That's going to make this very interesting. Try and turn. No. Until that breaks off. And there we go, there's traffic control off. I'm sure I turn. I'm sure this is all authentic. I'm sure I had authentic last time. Maybe that is actually authentic for the Rallycross light. It seems a bit odd to me to have traction control in a Rallycross car. Whoa, that was moving the wrong way. Well, we have seen it before. <laughs> that was me just dabbing the uh, hammer right there and then not changing gear. Whoa. It's a shame that the, the uh, stream didn't work, as it really does highlight how much steering and counter steering you have to do in these running across cars. Whoa! Boing! I love that. Oops! No! 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 going to be quite a lot of laps. Oh, that, that's not 
get onto the gravel and it just bogs you down. Now, when I come to do the next card, uh, yeah, the full red across, I'm going to pick one I haven't done before. Now, I'm still time trialing. I'm still time trialing. At the time of recording, I am over halfway through. I think I have about 50 cars left. So I need to be counting two thirds, uh, sorry, three quarters rather, through the list. On, Al on the Algarve. Yeah, I can't like, ow. God, man, that, uh, that car is off. Doing better this time than I did on the street. And then that could just be because it's the right across light, as opposed to one of the thoroughbred right across cars. Oh, yes. I might have liked that. Boy. I won't do that every time. I say. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that could have gone so much better. And put me all. I'm doing nothing against the leader of my adversary. What's his name? Uh, Laszlo Vinci. Depends on what language that is. Let's see how it's pronounced. Cross light. I know it's the Diet Coke version of the proper rallycross cars. I know, I know, I know. Surely I'm not coming to the back of the little them. I saw them, some of the names in blue on their relative screen for a brief second. Seeing them on the map, so. Oh no, too big. Got that all wrong? Yep. Yeah. Thought that would happen. Ooh. This is such a tiny circle. Apparently, I'm capable of 14 point. There's no way I'm 3 seconds. Oh, I see what it's doing. Sixth place is actually a three point second behind me, but of course they're on a different map when I cross the line. You don't normally see that because you normally have more than six cars in your, in your race. Right, Galsta. Whoa! That was too much. It's amazing how harsh the uh, rear can kick out. <laughs> My rear tyres are just vanishing. I'm going to have just rubber bands left by the time this race is finished. Whether you can hear the how much I'm steering on the wheel. Whoa, that was not what I was expecting. Now there's no obligation to run your Joker. The AI certainly don't do it. If the AI did, I would. The AI does not run the Joker maps. In this case, it's Honda. In I think two of the Dirtfish. Tracks the Joker's actually shorter than the main map, which, as far as I know, shouldn't be the case. Well, I say shouldn't be the case. It may well be completely accurate for that circuit, but right across, I thought the Joker map was all supposed to be longer than the main map. But again, that, that could vary from track to track. I am not a right across expert. Whoa! You see. 
done it with that sensor. No, I didn't. Oh, dear. My shoulders are going to be burning at the end of this episode. Oh, bloody. You say enough bumpy, this track. As you would expect from a... From a rallycross circuit. I'm struggling to talk. <laughs> Focus so much again, heavy fog with rain at night. How much of a difference the rain makes is, is questionable with Rally Cross because you're smiling anyway. A bit less traction, probably, but nowhere near as noticeable as you suspect as it would be in your standard racing cars or your, or your road cars. Probably far less noticeable with road cars because some of them don't even have rain, road, uh, rain tires, rather. A <laughs> road car without road tires. Oh. Go. Yeah, that lead was 10 seconds ahead of me, and I'm not making a dent in that lead anytime soon. I'm keeping the ones behind me there. If they do pass, I am able to repass them, so. I'm quite confident I'm not being too much of a mobile chicane for them. Sideways! I'm never really sure what's the uh, optimal way of doing that across. It's a bit weird. Doing the running cross cars on a normal circuit. So, me being me, and time trialing every car, I have time trialed some of the uh, running cross cars. Uh, what's the spring to mind are the Mini and the Mercedes. Some corners uh, are better if you slide them. They are set up with a uh, much longer gear ratio. Gives you far less torque Ooh, when you would normally expect it in running cross conditions. Oops, should be made my adversary again. I did, was just beginning to wonder whether the leader had crossed the line at the point of hit zero, and that would tell you that they have not. Water there that pulls the car to the left, I think. Come on. Ah, that's one of them. <laughs> it's weird how they come out of the mist. 41.5 was the best I could do, and everyone behind me, I'm come to think of it, looking at the fact that the leader could do 40.8. I have to assume that the rest of the AI could do something similar, and they're all slower than me, except for the one at the back. So uh, I think I may well have been holding up the guys behind me. <sighs> I don't think that'll happen this time. They'll just blast past me and probably lap me 300 times. 300 times in a 15 lap race, that sounds about right. Right, so let's go with... There's no way I'm using the Red Bull. Uh, what haven't I had? I've done the Focus, the Mini, and the Mercedes. And the Honda. Yes, I must have done the Honda as well. I haven't done the Renault or the VW. Although I think 
I think I have driven the VW before in this series. So let's go with the Renault. All the same top speed, so they're limited to that. Similar amounts of power, similar weights. Whoops. Ah. Yeah, let's go with the Renault. I don't think it's going to make a great deal of difference as far as I'm concerned somehow. <laughs> But let's see. I <laughs> love that. Uh, Domis hashtag no control. How apt for a rallycross car. 35 seconds. I doubt that was in the web. So do I run with the name setup? Why not? Again, I don't think it's going to make a great deal of difference. No lights again. Despite the fact that they are physically there, they just do it work. It didn't seem to matter last time. So fast these things! Oh. Come on! Yeah, this one I'm gonna really struggle with! Very cold tyres, how much of a difference it makes, I have no idea. Changed that way too early. Whoa! spot I noticed connection of water on the track. Well that's not way too heavy. Not how you see Yeah. <laughs> I managed to avoid doing that right across the line. Turning rate is, is, is incredible. Well, yeah, that's where the standing water the outside of that particular, uh, particular turn. Ah, oh, yes. May not be very quick, but it does look cool. No, 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 no. Really, really concentrated on this one. Less talking and more fame. what I was expecting to see. Lots of red names indicating they're coming up to that. Cars I do not have. I've proven it a few times and I will end up proving it again. Whoa! Okay, here comes the race leader. Let's see him on the map. Lost it more than two. Oscar 
approaching. Whoa. I am not obliged to let you through, sir. Some cars, we all we all know it. There are just some cars that do not suit us. There are some cars that suit only the few. You, Master Randall. My tires, my tires are ruined. Why do I have no tires? Because I'm a lunatic and burn Cars that inherently involve going sideways, I am no good at The Oldsburg being... <laughs> the Oldsburg being pretty much the exception because it's such a mind power and car. Oh, this thing's going everywhere now. Which is off, because the front wheels are on the back. But the tail is just snapping everywhere. So there's not a lot of tread left on that rear left. And here come the leaders again. Well, I must admit, in the last episode, I did really enjoy that Formula X. Got to far more than I thought it would. I love how the GT3 cars are in P-Cars 2. Oh, blimey. The weather system works very, very well. It has its issues, of course it does. This game, every game does. One issue happens to be this organic mass behind this particular steering wheel. For your general entertainment. 
how insane you find this is, <laughs> of course, your subjective analysis. Two laps to go. The torment is nearly over. So another news. Season 8 for Project Cars GT3 racing. And it's due to start in a couple of days' time from the time of recording. First commentary should be actually live, assuming there's no further hiccups. Uh, I have the honour of commentating the Elite League this time, as opposed to the Pro, which I have had seasons 5, 6 and 7. Which don't get me wrong, I have thoroughly enjoyed. The reason why I have Elite this time is that in what well, in the past has been covered by the King of AOR Fizzy. And his counterpart was Yorkie. It happens to be a SMS developer. That much we uh, So he, of course, has been bombarded with why, 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 where's this, what's going on, with this, yada, yada, yada. Of course, poor bloke can't answer them all or fix them all himself. Yorkie has decided to drive in this season. He was a driver initially before he turned to commentating, I understand. As long as I've been in AOR, he, has, uh, he along with Fizzy, has covered the elite division. Because Yorkie is driving, Fizzy did contemplate it, but uh, opted not to do so. So. Someone did uh, suggest I work with Hamish Sopwith. He also is a driver and he also is an elite, so I will get to commentate on him. <sighs> My fast is at oh, two and a half seconds slower than everyone else. That is not a surprise. So, yes, so Punch Your Cars 2, GT3 commentary starts again soon. We, of course, got F1 2017 on the channel. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Rocket League, so my brain is frazzled at the moment. Rocket League continues. Um, I am thinking about uh, picking up the, the Deus Ex Lex play again. I don't know if I will because I really did get quite burnt out trying to do my Project Cars content along with that, along with my commentaries, along with family life. It did really take its toll, so that may well just be put on the shelf unless I magically somehow get loads and loads of free time. But for now, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.